brunch at 5.30. is incapable of making a clean getaway. Well, at least now I get to have what I want. <laughs> but what do I want? something that you ought to see, Mr. Hutchins. And what might that be? Something of substance, I hope. Something that will give credence to your stupid theory. And I can only assume that it's your theory. That my wife shot my son. I know that this has been trying for you, Mr. Hutchins. Trying. Trying. Your incompetence in the wake of my son's death. Look here. The killer is on the loose. You waste time questioning Rachel. And meanwhile, Justine could be anywhere. Listen, Mr. Hutchins, why don't you, why don't you come inside? Please. Forensics just came in. Well, what do they have to say? We found Justine. As long as lighthouses shine, and there are lessons to be learned. Father knows best has been brought to you by Maxwell House Coffee. Just as long as the tide turns, Maxwell House will always be good to the last drop. Good things have a way of lasting. If you're looking for bread to serve with dinner, it's in the fridge. Really? So that's not bread behind you? Not hot homemade bread. See for yourself. Grand's biscuits? Mm, sure. My Grand's bake up all golden brown on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Like homemade bread, but faster and easier. I never thought of it that way. Grand's biscuits, hot and fresh from the oven in just 15 minutes. They're like homemade bread, only rounder. <laughs> 
Tylenol I use, yeah, for aches, pains, fever, that kind of thing. But headaches are another story. For headaches, I use Excedrin, because Excedrin relieves headaches better than Tylenol. They did clinical research to prove it, but you know what? That's for doctors. So I did my own kind of research, tried it on my headache. That proved it. Excedrin, the headache medicine. When I got a yeast infection, I called my doctor, and she told me something I never knew. She said, you can start using Monistat 7 cream right now to relieve the itching. I didn't know that. Turns out the very same Monistat cream I use for a cure at night, I can also use for fast relief of external itching during the day. No wonder my doctor thinks so highly of it. Monistat, the number one choice of women, the number one recommendation of doctors. 8,000 steps a day, a corn can make each of them excruciating. But advanced pain relief corn removers with Cushlin will stop the pain and remove corns fast. So buy Dr. Scholl's with Cushlin. You found Justine? Where is she? Let me see her. Did she admit to planting Rachel's fingerprints on the gun? She's dead. Says who? Forensics. It's all in there. Dr. Wilton put that together. He's the medical examiner's number one pathologist. For this. There's no mention here of a body. A body, single body fragment, shredded clothes, blood and hair. We found body parts. It's not a corpse. But based on the speed that the train was traveling at the time, the coroner doesn't believe that we will find anything more. Listen, Mr. Hutchins, there's no way, there's no way that she could have survived that. That shows how little you know of Justine. As far as I am concerned, Justine Kirkland has been declared dead. Look here, young man, the police both here and in Europe have made that same mistake before. She would have to be made of steel to survive that, you understand? She's made of something much stronger. She will do anything to avoid incarceration, like an animal in a trap. She would chew off her own leg. Now, look here, this single mention of a body part does not convince me that Justine is dead. Maybe these will. Forensics just process them. I think you'll find them very convincing. Oh, how I wish I could believe that this was Justine. It's official now. It's official. Then may she rot in hell. The search for Justine is over. Does this mean, then, that the case is closed? And also, does it mean that you will no longer pursue this ludicrous notion that Rachel shot my son? Mr. Hutchins, this isn't personal. I don't know your wife from Adam. All I know is that aside from the fact that her prints were found on the gun, we have no real evidence that Rachel Hutchins had anything to do with Ryan's death. Well, ergo, she should no longer be a suspect. Look, the bottom line is that none of us really knows what happened at the depot that night. Rachel and Justine could have struggled when the gun went off, or as you have surmised, Justine could have shot Ryan, and while Rachel was lying on the platform, placed the gun in her hand, and in the process fell and killed herself. Right now, it's all speculation. You will no longer harass my wife. Barring any further evidence, Rachel Hutchins will not be charged with the murder of Ryan Harrison. I should bloody well think not. Ah, see, he's, uh, he's cleared his desk out, hasn't he? I know how hard this has been for you, Mr. Hutchins. It's a hurt that never really goes away. Mr. Hutchins, anything you'd like in there is yours. Thank you. This is all I require. Grant, Ryan's brother, uh, tore him apart. I don't know 
if you saw the way he left here earlier. Yeah, I know. He was really in pain. Josie, it, it's kind of late. Grant, I'm here on official police business. Well, I, I was just getting ready for bed. I'm exhausted. I understand. I'm just here to drop off Justin Kirkland's personal belongings. Things we found at the Huntington Mansion. I see. I see. And we're through examining them as evidence. And since you're Justine's only surviving relative. Yes. Well, th thank you for bringing them over. That, that's very kind of you, Josie. You're welcome. Oh, and Grant? Hmm? I, I just wanted to say that Ryan was the best. I mean, you know what a great guy he was, but... As a rookie cop, he was the finest commanding officer. And I was proud to have him as my boss. And it's going to be really hard without him. For everyone on the force. I'm sure I don't need to tell you how rough this is. I'm sure that Ryan's on your mind a lot these days. You have no idea. Well, I guess I'll just see you at the funeral then. Tomorrow? T tomorrow. Right. Yeah, funeral, yes. Well, uh, I'll see you then. You know, the whole squad's going to be there to pay their respects to Ryan. Probably more cops than you'll ever see in your life. Well, uh, thank you for bringing my mother's things to me. Good night. It's no problem. Good night, Grant. so much more. 30 years ago, we promised to take care of each other. We sure did. And today, we're taking better care of our health with Insure. More than a vitamin supplement, Insure is a delicious drink with all the nutrients adults need to help stay healthy, active, be energetic. Drink Insure as a meal. Or in between meals. Insure is recommended number one by doctors as a source of complete balanced nutrition. Insure to your health. Uh-uh. To our health. Also try Ensure High Protein. It's low in saturated fat. I got a seed say game and it talks to me. Find two animals with stripes. <laughs> I got a seed say tune maker making rhymes with me. The itsy bitsy dinosaur. I got a seed say toy. It's easy, happy, and fun. Oh. There's seed and say for everyone. <laughs> From the growing world of see and say toys, new slide and seek games, tune maker, and easy touch talking pictures toys. Someone else is making devil's food cookies besides snack wells. <laughs> now those <laughs> ladies will leave me alone. Maybe not. These aren't anything like my snack wells. Where's Cookie Man? There he is! <gasps> Only one fat free devil's food cookie deserves to be called snack wells. This bag is so hard to close. No. Stay, no, stay. There's the hard way or the hefty way. Hefty Sensac bags. They take just one hand to close and lift. You choose the hard way or the hefty way. 
NBC Thursday is the night you come to count on when everything happens. You have a gun, you guys! This week, lifesavers fight the odds. Students become teachers. It's all yours, Mr. Carter. And the shock of your life... What's going on? ...is anywhere you turn. Amanda, no, you, you're not a mother, are you? No other show makes every Thursday special. Carter will do it. He's ready. You're ready. The night, the show, the one and only ER, all new NBC Thursday. Jake are probably still mad at me for lying to Joe Carlino, uh, not telling him that Bunny, Jake, had amnesia the whole time he was in San Francisco with me. Yeah, that was a whopper. It was Jake who asked me to come to Reno to explain, and I decided I had to be honest with you. Well, only because you knew that Jake was up. You knew Jake was never coming back to live with you in your fancy penthouse in San Francisco. Well, you're not holding a grudge, are you? Do we really have to rehash this? I'm moving on. Oh, no, so am I. But first, I have to know, is there any way that you and Jake can forgive me for trying to come between you? And I don't know if I can ever forgive myself. I don't blame you. Well, I don't know how to say I'm sorry, Paulina. Look, um, can we just get this over with? My dinner's getting cold. Your dinner? Our dinner. Jake, Jake, um, will be home soon. Do you mind? Oh, well, I don't know. Did you buy enough food there? Jake could eat all of that himself. Yeah, I know. Well, um, <laughs> I'm on a diet. <laughs> so if you would just please, you know, just leave. <laughs> Jake or... used to love this little Szechuan place in Chinatown. We had such a good time there. You really are lucky, you know. You ended up with one heck of a guy. Can't get over it. <laughs> I'd love to know your secret with men. I mean, look at Joe Carlino. Talk about a dream boat. Will we please leave Joe out of this? Paulina, do you know how much that guy loves you? I really don't think we should discuss it. He is so sweet and honest and sincere. Joe's not the kind of guy who's out for himself. I mean, all he wanted to do is make you happy. And if that's not real love, then... Allison, what brings you to Bay City? Well, my trust fund is buying a bank in Chicago. I decided to make a little side trip. And the signs pointed to Jake? I wanted to apologize. Well, you've done that. Up? I was going to say in. With Jake? I wanted to make sure he was adjusting to his old life here. Oh, he's definitely adjusting. He's happy. Uh, couldn't be happier. And your marriage? Absolutely peachy. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm really glad. Well, I'm glad you're glad. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. Oh, I wouldn't want to go without saying hello. And you did say Jake would be back soon. What? You heard me! He was trying to rape Maggie! That's a lie! I saw you, Nick! You saw us! She wanted as bad as I did! Come on, come on! Everybody just Nick. settle down here! Everybody take a big breath, all right, Tomas? I want to know exactly what happened here. John, it is not like he said. And Nick, just start at the beginning. What good's that going to do, Charlene? We want to know what happened, Nick. Okay. It was really hot over at Michael's. I wanted to cool off, so I headed to the lake. And I warned you not to go after her, Ned. Come on! Take it easy! I'll go after you! Enough! Enough! Now go on. Grab your six-pack and I hit the beach. Oh, for your alcohol and driving. This gets better and better. Did your father know about this? No. All right, what happened? I hooked up with Maggie Hand. We went swimming. We each had one beer, Charlene. I popped the second one, but we decided to take a drive, so I stopped. A high-speed chase is what the police categorized it as, Nick. I don't get What were you thinking? This is great. Obviously, right? they weren't thinking. I mean, you could be adding DWI to your record. And what were you doing getting into the car with somebody who was drinking? I wasn't drunk and neither was Maggie. I don't care, Nick. I want to know what happened here. We ditched the cops. We came back. And the chase gave us this, this adrenaline rush, you know? We were feeling pretty great. And? John, we just got caught up in the moment. Before you knew it, we were kissing. Yeah. 
I was kissing her, but she was kissing me too. It was totally mutual. You're a liar, Next man. thing I know, yeah. she's she's pushing me off, and this guy's trying to kill me. Oh, yeah, nice story, Nick. Too bad none of it is hey, true. Well, listen, I, I would never force myself on anybody. Nick, I heard her, okay? No means no. I'm telling you, you're wrong. Me out here? Maggie, what happened? The day she was born, I thought I'd never let go. But before I knew it, she started pulling away. Crawling so fast, her diaper kept gapping and sagging. That's why I like these new Pamper Stretch. The first diaper with stretchy sides, made to fit like no diaper ever. They'll help keep her dry and see her through her next steps in life, her first steps. New Pampers Stretch may be one more reason 81% of all hospitals choose Pampers. Pamper your baby, keep her happy and dry. Hi. Hi. Do you remember me? Oh, yeah. I bought this sweater and it got these ugly fuzz balls. Yeah, and it faded. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. But how'd you wash it? I had a gentle cycle with my usual detergent. Right cycle, wrong detergent. Try Ivory Snow. Really? Ivory Snow Powder's Baby Gentle Formula cleans safely. It helps prevent fuzz or fading on cottons better than leading regular detergents. Thanks. Oh, forget something? Oh, never. <laughs> Ivory Snow. Safe care for the things you wear. Another Charmin story, the double roll. On your left, Muffin is using a regular roll of toilet paper. And on your right, Boomer is using new Charmin double roll. It's two rolls in one. The point is, when Muffin's roll runs out, Boomer still has a whole extra roll ready to go. Because it has twice as many sheets. And it's softer, too. It's two rolls in one. New Charmin and Charmin Ultra double roll. Since having my baby, there hasn't been a dull moment. Try telling my hair that. Good thing there's a shampoo and conditioner that makes a real difference. Healthy, shinier hair. It's Pantene Pro-V, the first root-penetrating pro-vitamin shampoo. Root to tip, it improves the whole length of your hair. It won't happen overnight, but all good things are worth the wait. Pantene Pro-V, for hair so healthy, it shines. Mom, see what it can do for you. This is fresh. I just washed it. Five days ago. Only Bounce has time to release freshness that releases day after day. <sighs> Bounce. The freshness lasts up to five days. Huh. They say these little pills coat like Pepto-Bismol uh -huh. and relieve like Pepto-Bismol, uh -huh. but they don't taste like Pepto-Bismol? Uh -huh. How do they expect people to swallow that? With water, dear. Pepto-Bismol caplets. The comfort of Pepto without the taste. Jake must be working late. Oh, I really don't mind waiting. Allison, I have a lot going on right now, right? We've had a death in my family. Oh, God, I'm really sorry. Thank you. A anyway, a as much as I've enjoyed our girl talk. Speaking of Joe Carlino. <sighs> were we? Oh, before when I mentioned how in love with you he was. All right, Allison, why don't you just get to your well, point? Well, I was just curious. How did he take the news that you and Jake are back together? I really don't see how this is your business. Well, Joe just doesn't seem like the kind of guy that's, you know, more than a one-woman man, you know? Oh, well, you know what? I really don't think it's appropriate for me to be discussing my ex-fiancé with my ex... my husband's ex-living. Whatever. All right, look, like I said, okay, this is not a good time for me, and I would really appreciate it if you would leave now. Fine. Um, I have... One little favor I have to ask you. What? I think you're right. This isn't a really good time for Jake and I to meet face to face. But the problem is that he gave me something. I don't think it's really right for me to keep it. Well, whatever it is, I don't want to know. Tell you what, why don't you go to a nice little pawn shop? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, this was very important to me. And I think that Bunny, I mean Jake, should have it. Would you be in love and give it to him for me? Now, would you be a love and lead me to my mushu pork? It's Jake's favorite. Don't forget the extra plum sauce for him. Oh, I never forget that. <laughs> well, I'm really glad we had this little chat. I feel a lot better, don't you? Oh, much. Well, listen, you have a 
safe trip back to San Francisco, okay? I can't. You have to, Maggie. What went on in here with Nick? Maggie, we have to know the truth. It's okay, Maggie. Just tell us what happened. Come on. Tell him. Tomas and I wanted to have a picnic by the lake, but Luisa got sick and he had to take her to the hospital. So I, I went to the beach by myself. Oh. Uh. Yeah, until Nick showed up. And then? We went swimming, like Nick said. And drinking. A little. But then I wanted to go home. So Nick told me he'd take me in your car. And you didn't think that was risky, getting into a car with someone who was drinking? We weren't drunk. Obviously, someone was out of control, Maggie, or you would have stopped for the police. He's on probation. If, if we got caught, he could have gone to jail. Oh, I see that. Maggie, perfect listen, sense. you don't have to defend him. Shut up. You shut up. It, Go on, Maggie. We were going really fast, but we got away from the cops. Go on. We ended up here, and... We were horsing around, throwing hay, and I don't know. It was it was a combination of of the beer and the chase and the adrenaline, and and he started he started to what Maggie? Things sort of got out of control. What things, Maggie? This is very important. I think Nick. Go on. I think he just... What did he do, Maggie? He... He misunderstood. Misunderstood what, Maggie? I don't know. Maggie, if we're gonna sort this out, we have to know what happened. Just tell us the truth, Maggie. The truth is... Nick thought I wanted something I didn't. Post these regulations on sexual harassment and inappropriate intimate relationships. I don't want any violations on my watch. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, how are the plans for the funeral tomorrow? Uh, uh, oh, they're fine. Uh, Matt Corey is handling the funeral arrangements, and uh, the police corps is going to preside over the cemetery. Did you choose the honor guard for the church? Oh, I had more volunteers for that than you can imagine. Officer Watts, did you deliver Justine Kirkland's effects to Grant Harrison? Yes, I did. Reporting back now, sir. How's Grant holding up? He's pretty shaky, sir. Hmm. He's got a tough day tomorrow burying his brother. I'm going to hold off confirming his mother's death until after the funeral. Very considerate, sir. You'll find that I can be, officer. You know, no matter how long you wait to tell Grant the news, it's gonna hurt him. He was real close to his mother in the end. Mm. Is that your take on it, Watts? Seem that way, sir. Thank you, officer. Oh, and Watts. Sir? When you say sir over time, uh, sounds patronizing, but I'm sure that's not your intention. Um, no, it wasn't, Captain. Thank you, officer. You know, I really expected Ryan to be around as our captain a lot longer. Yeah, you gave us the death in the line of duty speech at the academy, but... never really get used to it. Right now, I just feel numb. Well, that's gonna go away right after that funeral tomorrow. I dread tomorrow. I've always hated goodbyes. Come home with me. <sighs> what? Come on, Watts. We could both use some downtime. I know, but... But, but what? It'd be good for us. 
You know how tough tomorrow's gonna be on us. Yeah. I really want to, but... But what? No buts. Just do it. I know we can make each other feel better. you here at this late hour? I won't stay here long. I'm here on behalf of my son. There's news. The, the police have news about, about Brian, sir. My son would want me to convey this to you in person. Who? who? I, I, I mean, what do they know? It's all over, Grant. What is? This whole sad and ugly affair. For a cereal with a nutty difference, try Clusters. Clusters starts with crispy flakes, then adds crunchy nut clusters with just the right touch of honey for a light, crispy, nutty taste. So get your hands on some Clusters, if you can. Right now, during the Limited's Great American Fall Sale, every sweatshirt is 20 to 40% off. Every sweater is 20 to 40% off. Fall savings throughout the store during the Great American Fall Sale, only at the new Limited. What kind of grandfather am I? I made delicious new fat-free jello pudding and invited the grandkids over to try some. <laughs> Too bad they're in Hawaii. But dessert is back and it's fat-free. Strong cold medicines used to wipe me out. But Sudafed Severe Cold Formula quiets my cough without drowsiness, opens my stuffy nose without drying me out, and eases pain without stomach irritation. The relief you need without the side effects you don't. Take Sudafed instead. The trial's over, but many questions remain. What was O.J. Simpson doing that night? How did blood get in his Bronco? Who killed Nicole? An in-depth report, NBC Nightly News, tonight. If you are between the ages of 45 and 65 and are having symptoms such as hot flashes, night sweats, inability to sleep, headaches and mood changes, and have not had a menstrual period for at least one year, you may be going through the change of life known as menopause. Menopausal women are needed to participate in a research study on medications being developed to relieve these symptoms. All study-related medical care will be provided free of charge. Payment up to $225 for time and travel is also included. Call Future Healthcare at 990-7744. Holiday savings are yours today at Alpert's. Everything's on sale and pay no money for one year. Bedrooms, living rooms, dining rooms, leather, and more. Everything's on sale today at Alpert's. With no money down, no interest, and no payments till October 1996. One year, pay no money. Choose from three acres of furniture in Alpert's showroom and designer galleries. Everything's on sale today. Lowest prices, biggest savings. Everything's on sale and pay no money for one year. On Route 6 in Seekonk, Alpert's. Turn to 10 for News Channel 10, weekdays at 6. Till bath time. That sounds like a violation of Regulation 23. Hey, don't stick too close to the rule book. It's no fun. What do you got? Nothing. What? No, I got uh, Josie. Oh, you don't want to read that. Excessive fraternization between officers is prohibited, as well as inappropriate intimate relations. You were going to post this? Well, I had no choice. It was captain's orders. Does he know about us? No, he doesn't know about us. He's... Look, he read something in the paper about sexual harassment, and he's got a bug up his nose. This is horrible. We can get into major trouble here. Oh, listen, just relax, all right? Look, say you'll come home with me tonight. No, Kitty, this is wrong. We can't do this because this is like the captain's pet peeve. Oh, now... come on, just say yes. Just say yes. Say yes to what? Uh, I'm... I'm... I was just trying to convince Watts to come out to uh, have some coffee with me so that we could wrap up some of our cases. We got a lot of loose ends. Yeah, Ellison, you mind if I tag along? You guys can bring me up to speed? Well, Whatever you, you really like, Captain, him, that's Captain, fine, that's sir. Fine. Uh, you two don't want me to go, do you? 
Well, no, I mean, no, no, whatever the captain really, wants, that's, that's fine. No, 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 look, forget it. I got enough uh, files here to keep me busy all night. By the time I slog through them, it'll be 2,400 hours. Uh, I'll take a rain check. Oh, that's a shame. Too bad. Uh, Sinclair, did you post that memo? Uh, uh, being posted, sir. Okay. Um, why don't you do two guys call it a night? We got a tough day tomorrow with Harrison Spino. Yeah, this department is never going to be the same. Get some rest. Will do. Good night, sir. Captain. What? <clears throat> Sinclair. Sir. That was close. Look, let's go. Let's get out of here. <sighs> you know, maybe I should go back to the farm. Josie, come home with me. I mean, I really need to be close to you. What are you saying, Maggie? It was all a mistake? I don't think that Nick was really forcing himself on me. And what would you call it, Maggie? I'm sure that he would have stopped kissing me when I asked him to, but... Then why didn't he? Because it all happened so fast. Tomas came in right away, and, and he freaked. You guys know the rest. I thought they were going to kill each other. Maggie. Is that it? It was a mistake. You got anything you want to add? I got nothing else to say. Go, oh, slow down here, Martin. You got a nice shiner there. Get some ice on that. Put a bandage on this hand. And Tomas, I want to take a look at your lip. A nasty cut. Come on. This is a special report from NBC News. Here is Tom Brokaw. Good afternoon from Los Angeles, everyone. O.J. Simpson's first no-holds-barred interview scheduled for this evening on NBC has been canceled. It has been canceled. Mr. Simpson and his lawyers decided they could not abide by the original agreement. The one-hour commercial-free interview was to have taken place here in Los Angeles as part of a special edition of Dateline NBC. NBC News had a clear understanding as of yesterday morning with Mr. Simpson and his lawyers that there would be no conditions attached to this interview. But Mr. Simpson's lawyers overnight prevailed upon him not to participate, they said, because of the civil suits that he faces from the families of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. Katie Couric and I were prepared to ask Mr. Simpson the many questions that remain unanswered in the wake of his acquittal. But last night, Mr. Simpson's lawyers contacted NBC News President Andrew Lack and began to explain to him the issues that prevented Mr. Simpson from speaking at this time, they also objected to reports of the nature of the questions that Katie Couric and I were prepared to ask. As a result, again, tonight's scheduled sit-down interview with O.J. Simpson has been canceled by Simpson and his team of lawyers. I'll have more on NBC Nightly News later. Until then, I'm Tom Brokaw, NBC News, Los Angeles. This has been an NBC News special report. Yes, that would explain your grief. Yes, I've had trouble sleeping. You look in rather a bad way. Uh, considering your aversion to me, Carl, uh, your concern runs a bit shallow. That's putting it mildly. Yes, well then, so to what do I owe this sympathy call? Hmm? To whom would be more precise? I'm here for my son. Yes, sir. So you said. I believe that my son would want you to find peace after such terrible loss. I'm not sure that that's possible, Carl. Now, granted that Justine was your mother. But the fact remains, isn't it? She took a loaded weapon. She pointed it at her son while he was walking away. And she pulled the trigger. It's hardly a peaceful thought. is not a peaceful thought. I think we can all rest a little easier tonight, though. Knowing that Ryan's killer has been brought to justice. Now legs smooth silhouettes pantyhose changes the rules. Don't spend your life in the gym. 
don't skip dessert. Just look like you did with new smooth silhouettes from Legs. A whole new kind of pantyhose. They slim and smooth every crucial inch between your tummy and your toes. It's gorgeous redefined. So don't be afraid to show off. New smooth silhouettes from Legs. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. Hey, man. Hey. I'm making grilled cheese sandwiches. You want one? Sure. Dear Alfred. Alfred? Here are a couple things to make living on your own a little easier. Love, Mom. Cool. Yikes. Hey, check this out. Nothing turns a sandwich into a satisfying meal like rich, wholesome Campbell's tomato soup. So you know your family's eating right, even when you can't be there to cook for them. There's nothing like a home-cooked meal. You said it. Alfred Campbell's makes everything mm -hmm, better. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. It's not easy being big. That's why you should try new pull-ups training pants. The label shows front from back, so kids learn how pull-ups go on. And the new awareness liners designed to let kids know when to take them off. Knowing when, learning how. That's the pull-ups way to train. Mommy, wow! Both these men took cold pills, but Jack's quit working hours ago. Dave's didn't quit. He took Epidac 24. Unlike most tablets, Epidac releases the right amount of medicine at the right time. For 24-hour relief, Epidac, the cold pill that just won't quit. This bag is so hard to close. No. Stay, no, stay. There's the hard way or the hefty way. Hefty Sensac bags. They take just one hand to close and lift. You choose the hard way or the hefty way. Reach for a star. He's free. He's home. And Star Magazine was at OJ's party of the year. World exclusive photographs show you incredible scenes inside OJ's house at the all night freedom party he planned for 16 months. Star takes you into the Rockingham Mansion and the extraordinary moment America's most famous former prisoner cries, Hallelujah, I'm home. Read how he was greeted with tears of joy by ecstatic family and friends and by the frail mother who waited 16 months to hold her son. Reach for a star. On sale now. anyone last year? Wait a minute. Today's... our first wedding anniversary. Well... Happy anniversary, Jake. Jake, spare no expense. <sighs> to Allison, all my love. One year ago today. Hello, Hanson. The hell are you doing here? Well, I went to Reno like you asked me to. And I told Paulina the truth, so can't you forgive me, Jake? Look, Allison, it's, it's over between us. I don't want to think about it, and I don't, and I don't want to talk about but it. What okay. do you mean it's over? What's going on with Paulina? I mean, why are you here in this hotel room? None of your business. Come on, Jake. Don't you think I deserve to know 
How your marriage ended up? My, what are you talking about, ended up? My marriage didn't end up. Look, I'm sorry, Austin. I mean, I'm spending the night here because uh, I have an international conference call in the morning, and I didn't want to wake Pauline up at 4 a.m. with some yakety yak about the London Stock Exchange. Well, that's very considerate of you. Why? So, what are you doing in Bay City? This is not exactly the jet set vacation spot of the world, you know? Well, I wanted to apologize. That all? I wanted to see if you're happy with Paulina. Well, don't I look happy? As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to uh, celebrate our, our one year wedding anniversary. Really? When? This weekend. Uh -huh. I mean, things have been a little hectic. There's been a. a Death of a very close friend. I'm, I'm really sorry. You keep saying that. Look, why don't we go have some dinner, just like for old times' sake, huh? No, Allison. No, no, I am not buying your act. Well, look, I'm not going to buy your act either, Jake. I saw you take two big suitcases when you left Paulina's apartment, and. You looked pretty miserable. Well, one second, you've been following me? Well, just long enough to know this. You and Paulina are definitely not a happily married couple. In fact, I don't think you're a couple anymore at all. Tomas, you have a lot of explaining to do, young lady. It was all a mistake, Rachel. I swear. What's gotten into you, Maggie? Earlier today, you were sneaking Tomas out of the house after he spent the night, and now you're fiddling around with Nick? I know, Rachel. I'm sorry. I don't need this for our family right now, you know? We're getting ready for Ryan's funeral tomorrow. Rachel, I know you're angry, but... Angry doesn't really cover it, Maggie. You have missed discipline this summer. Well, guess what, young lady? I'm back, and you're gonna get it tonight. Can we do this at home, Rachel? You bet. I'm driving. And we'll pick the other car up tomorrow. Now, come Rachel, on. Rachel, I need five minutes alone with Tomas. Give me five good reasons why I should. I need to explain. Good luck. Five minutes. And then you're in my car. Don't make me come after you. Tomas, please. Don't touch me, Maggie. Because each day of my period is different from the next. Only Tampax tampons give me a range of four absorbencies. So I can choose from Super Plus, Super, Regular, and even lights for my lightest days. I get all the protection I need without always changing to a pad. That's why I count on Tampax tampons any day. Trust is Tampax. I'm here at Mulots to prove that new Ultra Ivory can clean the toughest greasy pots and pans. <laughs> I'm gonna need some help. Hi. How's the, uh, how's the blackened steak? Ooh, this guy. Uh, I'll buy you dinner if you'll oh. clean the blackened steak pan. This guy's yeah. crazy. Here's the pan. Oh, oh no. Uh, yeah. 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 We'll add a little ivory. I think not enough. Come on, this is new Ultra Ivory. It's concentrated. Oh, no, no. Prove how tough oh, it is. Oh, no, no. Okay, that's ice. Ice. No. no other liquid cuts grease. tough grease better than new ultra ivory. Hot water no. Even in cool water. Whoa, look at I that. I don't believe it would do it. Wow. wow. Well, I guess I owe you for dinner now. Oh, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Just kidding. New ultra ivory. Tough on pans, not on hands. New moms need all the help they can get. Tonight, my husband's doing it all. Even the dishes. He pre-rinses everything. Right down to the little Thing. No matter who does the dishes, Cascade does the dirty work. Other leading brands can leave spots. Cascade with sheeting action gets them so clean they're virtually spotless. Perfect, honey. Honey? Also try Cascade Rinse Aid. Platoon! Boat! Yo! 
Your mother was hot when you there. You're right. The payless boots are you wear. You're right. And the blue is on sale, so you wear. You're right. Get to our biggest boot sale ever. Right now, for a limited time at Payless, tons of kids, women's, and men's boots are 20% off. We're talking boots here. Loggers, hikers, chamois, even fashion boots are 20% off. So hurry, because when these boots get going, they're gone. Sound off. You're right. Let's head off. You're right. Boot sale. Hey, lamp. Don't get lamp. Raymond, you look constipated. Here we go. You should take Phillips Milk of Magnesia. Says who? For gentle overnight relief, doctors say they take Phillips Milk of Magnesia most. Raymond. <laughs> Told you. Phillips, doctors know best. Cut the happy anniversary routine, Jake. I know there's trouble in paradise, so why don't you just buy me dinner? I'm going to buy you anything. All right? So you and Paulina, you can tell me why you're not... As a matter of fact, there's something I would buy you. I'm gonna buy you cab fare, so you can go back to the airport and take the first plane back to San Francisco. Didn't I tell you? I'm not going back to California. Well, you're not lying. Mm -mm. I decided I'd stay here in Bay City indefinitely. And as a matter of fact, I uh, happen to have a room down the hall, 2109. So if you need anything, just whistle. You know what to do. Sweet dreams. Michael, his recovery is supposed to be stress-free. Yeah, so don't tell him. He's going to find out. Ow! ow. Just, did you forget that you're on probation? Do you have any idea how lucky you are that Rachel didn't have you arrested for that stunt you pulled in her car? Yes, yeah, hmm? Charlene, I feel blessed. Look, Michael gave you a new home and a family. Is this how you say your thanks? We don't need this, Nick. Charlene was really upset about what happened in the barn. I, I'm more concerned with Maggie right well, now. Well, just admit it, okay? You never believed my side, because you always wanted Maggie with Tomas. They're together, Nick. That's a reality. You deal with it. You're not going to change your mind by throwing yourself on her. That is not what happened! But it doesn't really matter anyway, Charlene, because I'm never going to see Maggie again, okay? Ah. Maggie, you stay away from me. Tomas, I... I know you're upset. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean... I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm, I'm sorry that you listen got me, hurt. Listen, Maggie, listen. Sorry is not enough this time. Please. Listen, you were kissing Nick because you wanted to, Maggie. Just like all the other times when I walked in on you, too. Let's listen Maggie, to listen. me. Maggie, listen, I caught you here. I caught you at the hospital. What the hell was I thinking? How stupid can I be? I'm not gonna let you do this to me anymore. Do you understand? I'll make it up to you. I promise. You can't, Maggie. You can't. It's over. Tomas, after all we've been through, don't walk out on me like this. Wait a okay. Yes, I can walk through. Yes, I can walk
What's new about the taste of apple cinnamon Cheerios? The apples and the cinnamon taste better. Sure, it tastes better. It's baked tin. I taste uh, apple. Yeah. It's got cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yes. Brown sugar. I taste apples, cinnamon, and brown sugar. It's baked in. Something else. That's something uh, yeah, else. That's right. It's a baked in taste. Now, apple cinnamon Cheerios tastes even better because it has a baked in apple cinnamon taste. How do you know that? How do you know that? It says so on the box. I knew that. AT&T now offers you the only program with savings on all kinds of calls. No matter where you make them or who you make them to. No competitor single plan offers this broader reach. Introducing AT&T True Reach Savings. You'll save on every type of call on your AT&T phone bill to anyone, anywhere in the U.S. Sign up and save 25% every time you spend just $25 a month. True Reach. That's your true choice. AT&T. Your toothbrush, it's fighting a never-ending battle against bacteria. But add a new cavity-fighting toothpaste from Listerine and you've got a powerful germ-killing weapon. Introducing Cool Mint Listerine Fluoride Toothpaste with Listerine ingredients. It kills the germs that cause plaque for a clean feeling that goes beyond brushing. Turn your toothbrush into a lethal weapon. Cool Mint Listerine Toothpaste. The power of prevention. Leg Smooth Silhouette's pantyhose slim and smooth every crucial inch between your tummy and your toes. Smooth Silhouettes from Legs. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. You can't ignore a yeast infection, but you can get an effective cure at a sensible price. My Select 7. Same medicine as Gynolotrimin. It costs less. And it comes in a combination pack, too. So my choice, my cure, is my Select 7. Tomorrow and today, what women know and what they don't know about breast cancer. Don't be surprised. Join us tomorrow for this special health report and see what a difference today makes. Fate has brought them here. Let our love bring us back together. Can they rekindle feelings they once shared? You're the only man I'll ever love with all my heart. Days of our lives. Join Victoria Wyndham, who portrays Rachel Corey Hutchins on Another World, on NBC Supernet. For those of you with a computer, Windows 95, and access to the Microsoft Network, meet Victoria in the NBC Supernet Auditorium at 9 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow night. Go Word, NBC.